Britain's massive vote in favour of legalising cannabis for medicinal purposes sent an unequivocal message to health ministers around the country. But still tonight, Australian parents are being threatened with having their sick children taken from them for giving them cannabis oil to make them better. Here's Seven's health editor, Dr Andrew Rochford, and Helen Kapalos with our special investigation. I've thought long and hard about medical marijuana. And as a doctor, I'm finding it harder and harder to look past the research and the benefits. I've seen cancer patients battling uncontrollable nausea and pain find significant relief. I've seen hope restored to families, just like the family you're about to meet. Nine-year-old Jai is the youngest son of Michelle and Andrew Whitelaw, who live in Brisbane. They love him dearly and worry about him constantly. That's why they have cameras and monitors throughout their home to watch Jai at all times. Because at any time, day or night, their son could have a potentially deadly seizure. Jai! He just lays there, eyes deviated, rolled back, mouth frothing, shaking, twitching, jerking. So he suffers from a rare but dangerous form of epilepsy? Absolutely, yeah. Seizures can cause death. That's a part of the diagnosis. You just live each minute and... Um, each day, really. Yeah. I'm tired. The years of constant care and supervision have taken their toll. That's epilepsy. That's my life. Three years of f***ing hell. And I'm not even the one that has it. But as a mother, you know, you don't know whether your kid's going to wake up today or tomorrow. Conventional medications have been of little use. He's gone through the whole spectrum of medication. There's only maybe one or two that we haven't tried yet. Which is why Andrew and Michelle began considering cannabis oil for Jai. They heard of positive outcomes, but it was still a big leap of faith. What was your attitude towards cannabis in general? I've never used it. I've never tried it. For the last 20 years, I've been in the Defence Force, so I've got a very low tolerance of, uh, of people that smoke cannabis. But until you know, we started doing the research, well, Michelle did the research. I didn't even know there was such a thing. But the more they researched, the more convinced they became. <laughs> Just like Cassie and Rhett, whose young son, Cooper, also has severe epilepsy. When they began adding cannabis oil to his milk, there was almost instant improvement. It's the reason why he's still with us today. And without it, he, he will, he will eventually die. Could it be the difference between life and death? Absolutely, mm. absolutely. It, for Jai, for thousands and thousands of people mm. in Australia, people are dying of this every day. This mm. epilepsy kills. So with Jai, the medications do not work. And many also have serious side effects. Jai mm. has no night vision, has cataracts, has ankle, knee, hip, spine injuries from medications. So you feel that with the medicinal cannabis it would be a safer treatment option? Well, it would be a treatment we haven't tried. And with the results that have been achieved overseas... There has not been any side effects that yeah. I've been made aware of. With all the cases and hundreds of families I've spoken to, I have not found a side effect. 
I haven't. It's only benefits. Ha ha how does that make sense? To me, it sounds like a miracle. To me, it sounds like a cure. To me, it sounds like liquid gold. Have you ever made any moves to obtain it? I have. And I have received it and I sent that off to my mum because I can't have that temptation in the house. So what stopped you from using it? Because we were told not to. We would be reported to docs if we do. It's been told to us by our doctor if, if we were to administer medicinal cannabis that there is a possibility that, you know, docs would be involved and I don't want to put my family through that extra risk by, by administering an illegal drug. So I'd like to get it legalised, then I'd have no problems and I'd do it myself. How do you feel being put in this position? Oh, I, I hate it. I hate it. This is not about legalising marijuana. That's a completely different argument. It's not about people getting stoned. This is about using the ingredients in cannabis that we know work medically. It's about being open-minded enough to rewrite the laws to offer a specific group of people the best possible care. If that involves medical marijuana, so be it. How long are you prepared to keep fighting? My Jai's here, I'll always fight. If Jai's not here, I'll still fight. Stop the clocks and turn the world around. How many people are out there like us in this position that don't even have the ability to fight because they're exhausted or because they literally don't know where to go, what to do, who to turn to. 60% of people with epilepsy can get control with medications. What happens to the other 40%? I won't stop. It's Absolutely. Got, it's got to be legalised. It's medicine. That's all it is, medicine. Yeah. For people that are sick. So why can't we... Why can't it be legalised? And if you have a view, just go to our Facebook page or website where we also have much more information about this issue. Now to the miracle of truth.